What is up guys, it's Kevin back in with a quick new video just showing you guys what I've been doing and what I've been working on now. Today's video is a little bit different, but uh, first of all, I want to tell you guys I'm going to upload this as soon as I get home. Um, today is Sunday, so tonight I'm having a live stream, so I hope all you guys show up. Comments, questions, uh, you know, ask me whatever you want to. I think it'll be pretty fun. Um, but today, this video is me being at Pull Apart. The last video I did of this, let me roll my one up here. Last video I did of this, actually, you guys enjoyed it and a lot of positivity around that video, you know, just walking around showing you guys, you know, um, what kind of cars are at the Pull Apart. But first, first off, I'll do this real quick. As soon as I pulled in to Pull Apart, I'm not sure if you can see that right there. You probably can't, but it says, absolutely no working on your car in the parking lot thank you pull apart first thing i see is this right here <laughs> that is hilarious anyway let's get to it guys all right guys we're here to pull apart this is basically the playground for mechanics so let's see what we got i'm looking for a two-door civic to get the corner light out you know what's really weird about places like this you find civics and distributors are always, always fucking gone. I think somebody just comes up here and hoards all of them. Is that MX6? <laughs> Jaguars. This is definitely where they belong. Wait, are you, are you fucking joking? I had this car. What did I do to this car? I actually put, um... Fuck yeah, this is it. I put um, rod bearings in this fucking car. I had this car like a little over a year ago. I remember it because of these stupid ass stripes. Jesus. Yep, automatic. Fuck. You guys can look back at some of my old videos and you can actually see this fucking car. God. That's funny as shit. Anyway. I right, got a little hatch back here, and of course, the distributor's gone. Oh God, when people do this shit. Let's see what we got. Nothing special. Don't see any Civics with corner lights in them now. Kind of annoying. Yeah, so far nothing special. Your normal run-of-the-mill cars that you find out here. Uh, Corollas, Mazdas, BMWs, Audis, Volvos. Hmm. It's 500 series. Automatic. Yeah, not too much going on. Not too many older Civics either. Now, it's like I said in my last video, if you want to learn how to um, work on cars or you got to do something on your car that you haven't done before, come out here and do it on one of these cars. This is free learning. You want to do a head, you don't know how to do a head gasket, you don't know how to pull off a head, intake manifold, stuff like that, just come out here and do it yourself. Shit, if you break something, who gives a shit? Yeah, there's nothing special here. Is that a... It's like a G35. Coupe. Now, I'm starting to see more and more um, newer... Like, Infinities like this, the G35s. And I also see a lot of the... Uh, well, not a lot, but you're starting to see them. Is the uh, 350Zs because they're so cheap nowadays. Not like, you know, four or five years ago. But nowadays, you know, pretty much six grand... You can buy a decent 350. And they're all over the place. Gallant. Yeah, I don't I don't see any older civics. I know people were probably like, well, I'll just do recording. Uh, any special civic. BMW. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start it back up in a second. Check this out, this is kind of cool. 
Uh, GS300. Of course, you know, again, you're starting to see a lot of these um, in the junkyards. What a lot of people don't understand or what they don't do is like, if you wanted to do a 2J swap, you could come here and get this motor and transmission for about $200, $300. Go ahead and take the complete wiring harness, fuse box to swap into your car. I mean, you could get the entire swap for about 400 bucks, and most people don't realize that. I think it's a lot better than spending like, you know, $2,500 somewhere else. I mean, either way, if you're doing a swap, let's say you're putting that motor into, I don't know, fucking Miata or 240, whatever you want to put it in, you're going to build it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's not locked up. I'm not seeing any kind of cool cars none whatsoever I was actually wanting to see if they had a forerunner here because my center console on Mon is broke and it's like wood grain but you rarely ever see forerunners that pull apart I guess because they rarely damn break down or something shit over there there's the American car section yeah I don't think I've ever been over there uh, all right this other section here and I've failed to find an older Civic that had a distributor in it or any Civic that has a distributor still in it all that poor Celica Hmm. Uh, God, it's fucking cold out here, guys. My hands are going numb. I don't see anything I can actually use. I did get the uh, the corner light for the Civic, though. But I was wanting to pick up another igniter and a few other things, maybe a couple ignition coils. But like I said. I believe somebody comes out here and just hoards all the fucking distributors. They'll buy them and just put them in a warehouse somewhere or some shit. See, here's another G35. Yeah, I like I like G35s, but they're just uh, the way they shoehorn the motors in there just makes it a pain in the ass to work on. Yeah, I see a lot of Nissans. Probably most of them have fucking transmission issues. And that's the reason they're in the, the graveyard. Wait, does this have a distributor? Yep, no distributor. God, these motherfuckers, man. Well, I guess that's it. I'm going to go pay for this light. There's nothing else here I need. And... <laughs> Sucks. Oh, that's a hold on. Is that a, is that a golf. Yeah, it is. Huh. I actually kind of like these if you can get them at fall speed. Of course, it's going to shit now, but I think they're cool looking little cars. I don't like Volkswagens, but uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, that's it for right now. Tune into the stream tonight at 8 o'clock, and I'll talk to you guys later.